your favorite podcast, Full Coverage, with your hosts, Manny Amuay and Laura Lee. And we have a very, very special guest today. <gasps> Miss Alessandra, Alessandra Conti. Conti. Alessandra. Alessandra, not <laughs> yes. Alessandra. No, you guys are so well. Doing you good? You guys are so well. <laughs> okay, <A> plus. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yes. So tell us a quick moment about what you do for our few viewers. Yes, absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Um, yes, absolutely. So I am a matchmaker. I own a matchmaking company in Beverly Hills. And my big claim to fame this year was mm. I was Sutton's matchmaker on Real Housewives. She, was, Beverly she, Hills. she loves it. She loves it. Uh -huh. So yeah, but I mean, I've been a matchmaker for now. It's like almost 12 years. Wow. And yeah, I own a matchmaking company called Matchmakers in the City. Mm -hmm. And we are are an old school matchmaking firm. We have a team of seven matchmakers. So I'm myself and my sister started the company. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, almost 12 years ago, we started the company and we began and we did everything and then we've just grown really organically. Wow. I love that. Yeah, I mean, and so typically if somebody is a public figure or a celebrity, mm -hmm. they'll come and they'll work, I'll I'll be their matchmaker. So that's okay. how the whole celebrity matchmaker okay. like came on. Got it. Um but yeah, it's been it's been an amazing amazing almost 12 years. That Crazy. is so cool. That yeah. is, I didn't, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I always figured matchmaking was a thing, but I've never come this close to it. Same. Where I've met Same. someone and I'm very, very fat. I've been with my husband for 15 years, but I'm still, I'm in it. I need to know mm -hmm. everything. So we have so many questions for her. Also, Manny's been single for how many years now? My whole life. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, my so, literal whole listen, life. We're going to oh deep, <laughs> deep dive. We're going to deep dive. I've been saying, like, I mean, I've dated dive. people, but I've definitely not, like, not been in like long-term anything's yeah. ever in my whole entire life. It's That's definitely so been a journey. It's mm -hmm. been a journey. And I think especially in the industry that you're in totally. and just even the people that you're exposed to, mm -hmm. because my initial inclination would be to match you with somebody in a completely different <gasps> industry completely. Totally. You need a businessman bow. Like I, that's somebody, what I, yes. you know what's funny we literally had this conversation i was like i yeah. feel like i do need like an older businessman almost yeah. in a way where it's like doesn't give a fuck about the social media world no. at all no. isn't in it for the clout yeah. isn't in it for any kind of capacity of like me being in the public eye in any capacity like yeah. that it's always something i've thought about but it is hard in, in ways yeah. to find that yeah and it's so funny because i think like the Taylor Swift of it all. I just mm. bring her up because mm -hmm. I think she's such a great um, example of a celebrity in the public eye who initially for six years, she was with Joe, right. who was, he mm. didn't care that she was Taylor Swift, but that was both a blessing and, and a, a curse. curse. Mm -hmm. That was the reason it worked, but that was also the reason it, it failed. fell apart yeah. because mm -hmm. he didn't care she, she was, was Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. So you need somebody that cares yeah. who you are and values it and appreciates it and thinks you're just the everything, mm -hmm. but also is very involved in whatever their industry is. Mm -hmm. And But it cannot be the same thing. Totally. I will, this is a hill that I will die on. It cannot be the same thing. You can't be in the same industry. Because even with, I think, like the example of Taylor and Joe, it was too close. It was yeah. just yeah. too it close. Was, mm -hmm. and, they were, and they were so, so misaligned yes. in the yes. level of success uh -huh. that mm -hmm. it's not a match. Mm -hmm. I no, mean, right. it's just not a match. It literally was like right. Taylor. Ta Joe. And then it's like, who is who? I mean, compa who? Joe, in comparison who? to Taylor. I've learned more yeah. in this five minutes <laughs> than I have, <laughs> I, than I have um, in 30, in uh, 30 three years. years. We now know I'm more like, oh. than that in five see. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, Thank you so much to ZocDoc for sponsoring this portion of full coverage, you guys. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. And you can actually go and see patient reviews on there, which is absolutely genius from real patients. Go to ZocDoc.com slash full and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc, Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash full, ZocDoc.com slash full. Thank you so much to Shopify for sponsoring this portion of full coverage, you guys. Cha-ching, that's the sound you'll hear when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell, online, in person, social media, and beyond. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com 
slash full coverage, all lowercase. That's one month for just $1 at shopify.com slash full coverage. Shopify.com slash full coverage. Cha-ching. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. There are a lot of daily skincare products on the market claiming to help reduce fine lines, wrinkles, but how do you know the products are actually working? Ritual is here for your skincare routine. Start Hyacera to help minimize wrinkles without compromising on clean science. Hyacera from Ritual is clinically proven skin supplement you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month for a limited time at ritual.com slash full Start Ritual or add Hyacera to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash full for 25% off. I could see you <laughs> with, I know we're, I know we're kind of jumping the gun, but I could, <laughs> I'm just my, I can't no, I love help it, myself. I love it. I, I love a trail. I can't help myself. I love it. But I could see you with like real estate. I just, I'm getting mm. real estate and I, oh my, I need to bring you. Okay, Manny, we'll go to all. So I have this group of friends and I, <laughs> Laura's like, I know, I know. I call them the power gaze of LA. Mm. And they I like, want in. Yes. Laura's also, so gonna be, Laura's also a power gay of LA. <laughs> oh my God. No, like, I feel that. I feel that. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. She, she's like, it's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> She calls that beautiful. That's so beautiful, Laura. <laughs> so beautiful. No, I'm, I'm, beautiful. De- I'm definitely tearing, but it's, it's because of my perfume. Um, She's like, Laura, that's beautiful. It's, <laughs> it's new perfume. Um, but no, I feel like I just want to pluck you in mm. that group. And they're all like real estate and just it's a different energy completely. Mm-hmm. But it's at that same time, it's a very similar um, mindset. It's similar mindset, but just totally totally different energy so yeah i feel i feel as though we can go to like a little my friend like these lovely parties and they're, oh. Oh, the most amazing men that i've ever met and of course they're wow. all you know they're all gay of course <laughs> and, uh, of course i was like if they're amazing men you've met they're I gay know, they're the most amazing men that i've ever met like they're everything every woman has ever dreamed no, of I, and then they're gay. And they're gay and they're gay of course that's actually of really course. funny i get a lot of those comments. our first question yeah. okay yes sorry does she work with gay people? I swear to God, that's literally, that's literally what our first question is like. Does she work? We swear to God, swear to that's God. on our thing. Does that's she work our, with gays? Does she work with gays? So, yeah, I mean, I, this is so funny. Like, my, funny. our clientele at Matchmakers in the City, we do have a matchmaker that we refer because LGBTQ mm. is a comp- LGBTQ it's own thing. plus. It's totally. own thing. So totally. we have a matchmaker. We always refer. However, totally. when somebody is like a public figure or, you know, just a bit, I, I can't in help the space. myself. Like if they're in, yeah, then I'll, uh, you know, I, I You're do. You'll also jump in a little bit. Touch. Yeah. I, yeah. I bippity boppity. It's very, so. it's very like the, the fairy godmother from <laughs> one fairy to another. Really. Yes. From yeah. one fairy to another. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's the truth. Yes. I feel like we skip yeah. past Peaks and Pits low key. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so no, sorry. no, not at all. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. It's like, so good. Like, I'm yes. seriously, I, this is. This is why we were actually really excited because we've never be had great, a professional. But this is like really good stuff. She's oh, taught God. me more about Manny. <laughs> what he needs. Well, what what he's only for like needs nine years. Like, she's like, damn, for Manny. For nine years, I've been trying to find the one. And she's like, this is what he needs. I'm like, you need a real estate mogul. It makes It does make sense. It does make a lot of sense. And it's funny because, like, I feel like. I've kind of like known these things, like yeah. to be honest, like I know like it's not like great for me to date someone in the space um, because it could be like this weird, like competitive thingness too. And like this, uh, like just strangeness. And I would want someone that was out of the world, but it's also hard to find that. Like yeah. someone that is successful in their own way it's harder that doesn't try to um, like dim your shine or doesn't try to like bring you down like a little anvil, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. in water. Hundred percent. It's tough, like just a hard thing to do. And uh, yeah, and I think especially because you have such a full life mm-hmm. and you have like your calendar is packed. Right. I mean, I'm assuming this. I'm totally, I, I, totally. I, I'm just assuming. It is. No, no it is. but it's packed with very specific um activities and events that are are you this mm-hmm. is your life this is everything but if you literally that's why people hire a matchmaker that are mm-hmm. in these spaces because they are on top of their space like they're in it they, but this is the bubble that they're living in yeah so it's all about like what i found just having done this job for so many years is a lot of times it's just bringing these two like bubbles 
to like popping the Got bubble it. a little bit and being like, hey, how do you the met? You know, man. So it's exactly it's like bubble fusion, mm -hmm. and because they're in their space, you're in your space. They're they're here, you're here, but like it's parallel. But you're not gonna meet unless there's that inter intermediary that's being like, hey, like you guys, it could yeah, like so meet, perfect. you know, meet each other. So that's why matchmaking, I think, is beautiful, especially at the level I think that myself that I do it, and also that a few other matchmakers do it too mm -hmm. um, because our company we work with a lot of professionals mm -hmm. like that's the meat of matchmakers in the city like the umbrella company that we have it's professionals it's uh, you know it's it's just people that are doing incredible things yeah. in their world mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily only celebrities or public right. figures but with me you know i i just i i it's just it's what I do now. Yeah. It's just, I just enjoy. It's your How DNA. Did, yeah, it's you my know, DNA. Like no, your second you, know. Hand, you know exactly what it is. Yeah. You've been in it for 12 years. 12. How years. did you get started doing it? Like, I am so fascinated with the idea of like getting started in matchmaking because it seems like something that is so, like, I, I feel like people just like don't talk about matchmaking mm -hmm. like that, it, like as a yeah. profession in general. So it's like, all I, all I ever knew was matchmaking was Millionaire Matchmaker. That's yeah. all I've ever known. And she was wild in. Oh, absolutely she was. feral. And oh, yeah. Patty, She's feral. Patty, Patty's wild in. I mean, if it wasn't for Patty, though, I wouldn't be a match. <laughs> no, literally, like, like Patty is. I, Patty, I, Patty, Patty called so you can run. No, no literally. literally. <laughs> she is Patty, wild. Patty crawled. Like, literally. Patty, and, like and this, she, in the oh, trenches. Huh, she was in the trenches. And yep. she still is. They're doing oh, they have a new show that. coming no up. No way. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm oh, so be great. excited. You should be excited. Like you a guest. Should. Well, oh, like, I mean, I'm not. I'm okay. not. Uh -huh. But there's a whole little story. But I will say I love Patty. Okay. Mm -hmm. She okay. is. No, she's the queen of our industry. Totally. Oh, that's and, so cool. Oh she's my gosh. Patient zero. Is she is the <laughs> In a way. queen. Yes, mm -hmm. patient zero. Uh -huh. But um, no, I mean, we got into matchmaking. I got into matchmaking. Mm. So my sister and I were from a small town and there was very little to do in our small <laughs> town. Totally. So we would, we just always from when we were really little, like in the sand, we call each, we saw, we call ourselves sandbox matchmakers because we would be like in the sandbox being like, Oh, Johnny, like, <laughs> like, they what so cute together. Guy, yeah, like you guys are so cute. We did our first like makeover, which is so Stop good. Like, I feel like we need you guys. We work with a makeup, but I, anyway, whatever. We, <laughs> but, like, we work with a makeup artist, but uh -huh. for like their photo shoots and to teach them like how to do date makeup. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, that's god. cute. Oh my god, you're literally like almost like schooling people how to like date. It's so cute. It's so I didn't cute. know that yeah. that is until I didn't match know. Yeah. Same, same. Yeah. Wow. Like you're helping them. You're out. getting them ready for the job interview. Getting them mm. ready. We have a stylist, and they go shopping with them. Oh, this is yeah. major. Like, this is this is it's, this it's is for fun. real. Wow, it's very for helpful. Real. Yeah, every every member of ours, like we have a ba we have a basic membership, and they're mm. just in the database, but they're totally. like interviewed, background checks, social media checks, sex offender search. Okay, of yeah, wow. and by wow. like the team of matchmakers, they meet with a matchmaker. But then, if they're a client, if somebody's a client, they then sign on and they get a certain number of like expert sessions. So one of oh. them is exactly like teaching them how to do makeup, so ma date night makeup application, wow. yes. um, a shopping session where they're literally going with. With a stylist, our stylist actually, Caitlin, um, Caitlin James, she's amazing, and she's like blowing wow. up right now on TikTok. I'm like, mm -hmm. girl, yes, like do it. Um, but we've been working with her since, you know, it's so great in LA too, because yeah. you meet everyone. I feel like everyone that I knew eleven from eleven years ago is now just killing it at Absolutely. their industries. That's what LA is so, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like the yeah. place you go to make your dreams happen. hundred mm -hmm. mm -hmm. percent. But yeah, and so my 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 sister and I, uh, almost 12 years ago, we moved to LA and we didn't know anything about LA. Absolutely. We knew the hills. That's <laughs> yeah, what yeah. we knew. We knew <laughs> yeah. Lauren Conrad. Yeah, we knew the hills. Yeah, yeah. LC. Yeah, that's what I knew. Yeah, and we moved to, do you get you guys watch The Hills, I'm assuming? Uh, Laura every the episode. Hills. Yeah. Oh my every gosh, episode, every episode. Ever. So we moved, because we didn't know anything about LA, we moved to the apartment that they lived in no. first season. Oh, oh so a hellhole. So a it hell was, hole. Well, it was actually, it was like, okay, it was villas uh -huh. at Park La Brea, oh. not Park La Brea, but like, you oh, know, it was like the Palazzo mm -hmm. vibe. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was great. No, it was actually it was these, good. Like, oh, you was, loved it. Yeah, we know, we loved, we loved it because it was, all these like young, this was before I thought it, 
influencers. I, I, that's, yeah, I always exactly. thought it was the party villas. Like yeah. that yes. apartment complex where all the young people would go to party. So I figured you guys would be like, I'm annoyed being here. No, okay, we you were, loved it. She was like, we were so partying. Yeah, we yeah, were like, actually, actually, it was us. It was us. So I, was like, I actually <laughs> was. I'm the person. I'm, I'm the party. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was perfect. I'm them. It's me. <laughs> yeah. I'm the party. I'm the villain. We're the problem in the villa. It's me. Yeah. It's me sister. We're the villain. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. But yeah, and it just, it started, so we just would lay by the pool and but also mm -hmm. we would go out every night of the week and yeah. we would just be like Love we're that. starting this matchmaking company and we did and we started with one client and then with that we needed to get an office so right. our first office was right on little santa monica in beverly wow. hills and then we just we were meeting all of these new potential matches for the client so it was a female client and she was Forty, I think something wrong. So then we had to find all these men, and then all of these men were like, "Okay, like I would love to hire you." So we then just grew so organically, and then you know, twelve years later, seven matchmakers strong. Mm -hmm. Here we are. So yeah, and a lot of amazing clients and love and all of that. But yeah, that is that's amazing. Wild. Yeah. That's it's amazing. It's insane because it's like organic growth. Like it was like you guys just had a dream. You guys loved it. You saw it and you're like, this seems like it'd be a fun thing to do. 100%. Yeah, we just, it's literally from proms. Like we would set up all our friends. Like yes. and just, you know, all of the big wow. things. We would always set up our friends. It was It's my gift. Like it's literally, mm -hmm. I meet people and I just immediately know. Your brain's yes. on. My you're brain like, I know where this is yeah. gonna go. Yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. I know who you need to be with. Like oh, I know I who they that. are. Like, mm -hmm. and even if I haven't met them yet, like, you know I will type. meet them. You know the, the type. type. Yeah. yeah. The and type. then I will meet them. That's the yes. crazy wow. thing. And it's going to sound woo woo, but it is real. Like I am telling you that I am, we're connected and they, if I meet somebody and I'm like, I'm yes, like mm -hmm. I get it. Then boom, like within whatever that. that time frame is, as long as I kind of or do what I to need to do mm -hmm. and, you know, reach out to the other matchmakers. But I then I'm like, click. Yes. Yes. Like mm -hmm. this is the person. Oh, so, I mean, sometimes it doesn't happen, but like, if, you know, in a lot of cases it does, which is, which is why I, yeah, I take on a fewer amount of clients. Mm -hmm. So I can actually, I have a happen. question. Yeah. So, you know, you take on clients. I'm sure you go through an interview process and like meet people who you are like, this person would be great to take on. Have you ever taken on someone and then you just come to find you're like, this is person. They're the problem. They're toxic. They're just not dateable. Like, what do you do, do in those with that situation? Because, you know, there's rotten ones out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the thing with matchmaking. And I think this more so happens with matchmakers in the city clients. Mm -hmm. So like with the clients that, because we take on more mm -hmm. clients as a team of matchmakers. Mm -hmm. um, so that, yeah, we have a big, we have a bigger client list than like me. Right. Um, right. I, I think goodness personally have never experienced oh. having to like somebody that I'm working with one-on-one -on -one, mm -hmm. um, having that happen because oh, I am God. yeah but I will I will say I I'm very careful okay I will give a little bit of an example she's kind of really well known so I mm -hmm. can't give too many details because totally. I don't want to blow her spot up totally. right right right, right, right. a few years ago I was approached by a reality star okay. very big reality star mm -hmm. and she was like at the height of her career wow and she was at that age she was like i want to get married i want to have kids i'm ready but and she had just gone through this really public breakup i though i didn't know that much about her mm -hmm. and i took the meeting and i i was meeting with her and just something inside me as she was talking i she was telling me about the type of man that she wants and i've been doing this a long time i had never met a man that mm. was like that i uh, never in wow. my life and i and i was, was sitting gay. there and so, <laughs> so I'm sitting there. I'm like, Manny, you're so good. And so I'm sitting there. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I don't, I was like, I don't know what to do. And because she then, the, the so I slept on it. She paid. And I just, I was like, 
I, I, I can't do it. I just can't do it. And mm-hmm. I said, I've never met a man like this. If I take this woman on, this is, it's going to fail. Yeah. Yeah. They, men do yeah. not exist like this. Yeah. She is not describing a man. Not mm-hmm. a human. <laughs> so I kindly said, hey, oh. I'm so sorry. Like we're on wait list, which we were. Mm-hmm. But that was not a lie. Mm-hmm. We're always on wait list. So that's never a lie. Mm-hmm. But I could have. But that's lo- less of on. a blow to her. Totally. Exactly. That's protecting her Two. feelings at that 100%. point. 100%. I didn't want to get give yeah. her a complex. But I said, listen, I can refer you to another matchmaker or whatever, but I just can't take you on. Literally, about four months later, sh- it came out. She's now engaged to a woman. I think they're even married now. So you knew. Yeah. I knew. You knew. You knew. I was like. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That is so that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Thank you so much to ZocDoc for sponsoring this portion of Full Coverage, you guys. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. And you can actually go and see patient reviews on there, which is absolutely genius from real patients. I like that you can find doctors so easily on there and then book them immediately. And the patient reviewed is the best part. We look up reviews for anything and everything, even restaurants. But a lot of times we don't look up reviews for the doctor we're seeing which, you know, has to do with our health. So it's so important. I also like that you're able to find doctors in your insurance network. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's hard to book a specialist or a doctor. You know, it can be two or three months out. But on ZocDoc, they find you appointments that takes your insurance within 24 to 72 hours, sometimes even same day appointments. I've used them so many times and I actually count on this app. So it is amazing. (laughs) Go to ZocDoc.com slash fool and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc, Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash fool. ZocDoc.com slash fool. Thank you so much to Shopify for sponsoring this portion of Full Coverage, you guys. Cha-ching, that's the sound you'll hear when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell, online, in person, social media, and beyond. I personally love Shopify. I've used it from the start of both mm-hmm. of my brands, mm-hmm. and it's just such an easy, user-friendly, like you don't have to be a computer science mm-hmm. person to crack the code on Shopify. It's very user-friendly. It's so easy to use. I'm sure you're thinking migrating is going to be a headache, but with Shopify's app store, the migration apps you need to migrate your products and orders over are so easy to do. Stop leaving sales on the table and switch your business to Shopify and discover why millions trust Shopify as their all-in-one commerce platform to build, grow, and run their businesses. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash full coverage, all lowercase. That's one month for just $1 at shopify.com slash full coverage, shopify.com slash full coverage to chain. So if if that you have to i think a lot of my job probably like with you guys too it's about being like on with your intuition mm-hmm. you have mm-hmm. to read people mm-hmm. in it not mm-hmm. in a judgmental no, way no we have to yeah, know fill them out yes. you have to fill them out yeah. 100% mm-hmm. you have to just be able to know what's what what's happening yeah. i'm a big yeah. big reader yeah. of situations yeah. all the time mm-hmm. i'm always mm-hmm. very i also yeah. like grew up very like closeted and religious and stuff like that. So you, when you grow up like that, you tend to be very like hyper in tune with what's going on and like what people are feeling because you have to adjust yourself to be how to see how they're feeling in a mm-hmm. in a way. Yes. So I, I, I can only imagine. I feel like it's something like that where you're kind of like just gauging constant energy to be in tune with what they would work with. Yeah, me and my sister joke that we are mind readers, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but like we joke, but like we're not actually. <laughs> you're like, we're just kidding, but we're not. You're like, but no, we are. we're not like, actually we kidding. Actually, we know everything. I know it's got his freaking hand, but it's always right. And I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my god, I sound like such a narcissist. It's not. I'm just. It's 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 wild. You just yeah. have to be totally tuned in. Yeah, I feel yeah. like when you're like that, like the energy it radiates. It's like totally. if you put out the energy, like you're gonna get that back. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you work with a lot of millionaires. Yes. Wealthy. I mean, Wealthy. She, she does have an office in Beverly Hills. So, I mean, you were on recently on the recent episode of Beverly Hills Housewives, which I've watched that show. Do you, are you a fan of the show? Sure. Okay. I, oh, I just I love it. 
I mean, those are my I, sisters on the show. No. They're literally. <laughs> right? They're sisters lit- on the show. And they're even better. I mean, I, I, have you met them in person? I've only met a few of them, but yeah. and also every time I've met them, it's been brief. Yeah. It hasn't yeah. been like yeah. a hangout. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I haven't, I mean, they're all have been great, but it's all based been brief. Yeah. No, I, same. Okay. Like, so the way that Housewives came about, so I do a lot of like, a lot of TV things too. So like Access Hollywood and mm-hmm. um Oh e, like nice. Lot, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of I love the TV things are so That's much fun. fun. It's, oh yeah. yeah. Totally. It's fun. Totally. It's just fun. It's all just like a cherry on top of my actual work. Um, but and a lot of actually it's funny because a lot of like a client will refer me to for whatever. But anyway, so I had, I forget how it all came about, but we actually originally filmed something for Vanderpump Rules. So we did this big event for Vanderpump Rules. But this was the Scandaval season. Oh my God. This was- They cut it. Cut. So yes. So we did, and now I can talk about it. We had signed something. We can't, we couldn't, now we can. We did a matchmaking exclusive red carpet matchmaking event for Tom, not Sandoval. We did it for Tom Schwartz. Tom Schwartz. He is an angel. I I know, I know. I love Tom. Yeah. I I love love the other Tom. He gets so much shit and I love Katie too. I like them both. Like Mm -hmm. it's very clear they should have divorced. It, it, like, not a match. Like, not, not a match. Not a match. Like not very a match. clear. I, I think Tom is. He comes across actually quite soft. Yeah. To me, like a like he doesn't come across like Scandaval is like a bit of a mess. But you know the other Tom, like he doesn't seem that big of a demon. He is a doll. See? Like mm. I will. I he think he really is nice. a sweetheart. I think that his problem is that he's a bit of a people pleaser. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which I think we all can. Kind I've of been, I was a pleaser my entire life. <laughs> In my entire life, right. literally, yes. yes. You lose your identity, though, when you're a people pleaser mm. because you try to mold to what you think each person wants out of you and you lose exactly. who you are as a person. 100%. This is the big issue. Mm-hmm. 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that so, is so yeah, crazy to we, me, though. But we set him up with, like, all these different girls. Mm-hmm. And it actually went really well. Like, the event was a blast. And we had such a great time and all of that. And then, of course, they, Scandaball oh. hit. They cut it off oh, of course and i was like oh that's so sad but like it was so much fun anyway but that it's the same production company as housewives oh. so they were like hey like so, you know we're working with sutton she needs a dating coach and a mat and a matchmaker would be great yeah. so that first episode that i had gone in i wasn't really prepping to fully matchmake i was more prepping to do like date coaching. Yeah, coaching, coaching. yeah coaching mm-hmm. coaching i was more but then it was kind of like we they and it is real. Like I'm like housewives. It is. They set up situations, but they are, you are free to do what you want to do with the situation really on the yeah. day. Mm-hmm. They set the date yes. up and schedule it at this time so they can film it. But the date is really it's happening. happening. Mm-hmm. It's all happening. Yeah. Um, I know that for me, they had wanted me to talk about like her, ex, the ex-husband. Okay. Mm. And I have also learned that, you know, with a new client or with a new anybody, like you have to build trust. You can't just like immediately go for the jugular and be like, tell me about your ex-husband. Yes, yeah. yes, I'm like, yes, oh my yes. goodness. So that first <laughs> meeting that I had with her, I I had in my mind, I was like, okay, you know, I should mention, you know, the the past, but then I kind of brought it up a little bit and I noticed that it was, she, I, she remember, okay, so you know, mm-hmm. so you watch. Mm-hmm. She, I think, had just found out he was, that he was moving back to London. Her ex was moving back to London mm-hmm. and he was like wanting her to go with she her. She was oh, devastated. She, he still has like <clears throat> a little control over a her. Grip. Like a little, a grip. he's got a, yeah, he's got okay. a little pinch. That's your he's got a pinch. And so, anyone that's been in even like a relatively toxic relationship, mm-hmm. like even like toxic light, mm-hmm. we all get that. Mm-hmm. We all get that. Mm-hmm. When somebody that once had a chokehold on your life, total chokehold, says, yeah, says, oh yeah, actually, this is what you're going to do. And then you're like, oh my, oh my gosh. Blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. He was oh like, God. I'm going back to London and you're going to move. And then this, your kids, we're all going to go back to London now yeah like you're done here yeah. in la and so she's freaking out for the first time she's gonna have to tell this guy no and like really like split from him like yeah for like sure, for, for sure. reals this time. it was a big deal for her it was such a big deal and i think you're like oh, i know like, and Jesus i Christ, want to get into <laughs> here <laughs> but i didn't have that information <laughs> no. at all so and and anyway yeah 
so so all that to say that first meeting there was a lot of tension oh, there was a, so that set so then the second meeting i go in and i was like this woman i was like i was so <laughs> nervous in that second meeting and bless oh my goodness i was cackling i was yeah I was it laughing. seemed great i was well yeah it was i i, 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 I was i was laughing <laughs> yeah. because i was like oh, oh my god like okay let's it was just, like, oh. Let's just have fun. Let's just enjoy. I was like in my head. I'm yes. like, just enjoy, enjoy the meeting. It's everything's fine. Everything's mm-hmm. fine. But because I knew you feel the tension. Yeah. If somebody totally. is not in a good, but then, but that second meeting, I will tell you at when I met Dorit and then Sutton was in this. She just, I think she, the whole season was this beautiful metamorphosis of her just like finding her voice, like just, and really just getting to, getting to such a beautiful space but i will say that second that second episode oh my word i when i watch it back i was like uh, what is going on oh my goodness <laughs> and like yeah. the edit whatever it's not they always say it's not the editing but yeah i was definitely cackling i was nervous um however we did yeah we had that meeting with dorit dorit is such lovely a sweetheart that's what everybody Aww. says literally everybody I'm says so she's wonderful a sweetheart a sweetheart. I love that. I don't watch. So did it end up working out? Like, did she? The day you like, set her up on the guy with the white hair that was really sweet at the restaurant. Okay, that was two. by far. I'm, I'm gonna be honest now because I'm not her matchmaker, so I can dish how I feel about Sutton. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Like, you tell the nice things. You can, yeah. This is my thing. Um, bless you, first of all. For bless her. you. Bless you. But she is so far from dateable because it's like it feels like a lot of times because I've watched her without seeing matchmaker because she's been you know trying to tamper with seeing another person. Mm-hmm. Seems like she doesn't ever take it serious, and it's like secondhand embarrassment. Watch her, what she puts these guys through, and I'm never on the guy's side, but I'm like, it's hard because she's like really cringy and kind of stand offish and like kind of harsh mm. with them. But after she met with you, and this was the first tolerable date I have ever watched her go on. The guy was wonderful. She acted great she was interested in being there she laughed at his joke she wasn't a dick to the guy she didn't wear a cat sweater like uh, it was like sweater. oh my god finally finally because i'm like if you don't don't go on a date with a guy and be kind of rude like with right. them you know just don't date but like go on a date and be nice and open if you're open. dating mm-hmm. is what i feel because it's hard to watch that i feel bad for the guys but this date was actually so good and so much progress for her i was so freaking proud i I completely agree. I completely agree. And I think that I think with Sutton and with a lot of women that are in that, like we talked a lot about and, you know, we had like hour long sessions and it was mm. con- it was cut down to like two minutes. Yeah, which of course. I totally, of course. Mm-hmm. Right. But we talked a lot about how after after somebody's in a marriage, then and they're super dependent they're they're super dependent on their on their spouse Mm -hmm. they're in the feminine energy and we can Mm -hmm. use this as like feminine energy can be you know anyone yeah yeah so she was incredibly in that feminine energy so then when the divorce happened she had to fully swing into that the the pendulum swung Mm -hmm. and she was in this like masculine Masculine energy masculine energy and not no vulnerability but then you would see like a little and it was like oh and it was a very this like unsafe space Mm -hmm. so what I was working on her with what what I was working on her with was getting her from this space of being closed and not open and warm and engaging because men sense that the second mm. and all her dates did you can yeah. totally see they were almost like weirded out by her yeah. energy it was so hard to watch on TV I was like just don't go on a date right now if you're not you know what I mean like if you're not ready yeah I think she was trying I think with yeah I, I think she wasn't I think she was still in that space of uh, defense, with the defense. first yeah, yeah like with that first match sal bless his heart and it's literally my personal now goal to find this woman a wife <laughs> i have been matchmaking this poor man because like you know this guy he goes on this he's like thing. damn he's like I, i'm like oh it's fine it's, it's like oh yeah little house so like, sure i'll do it and it's like and then this man and he got shredded he so they damn. edited so that he spoke about his um he spoke about his mom. I think he told him a story about his mom. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what it was. Told a story about his mom. Told one. I'm sure like one story, maybe a few other little tidbits. Uh huh. And oh my word, this poor man. They and they and I, you guys. I no, love, it was bad. No, it was so bad. They that and production. I love you. Like please. I love you. <laughs> 
love you. As this production like, watches the pod like, too, they're like, production. You, never know. you guys, you never, you never know. Production, yeah. I, we, I love love we love you. We love you. We love you, production. <laughs> However, this poor man, oh. bless his heart, they cut so that every single thing, it was like, my mom, mom, yeah, but mom and I. that's not what the date really was. You know what I mean? I like they cut it. So yeah. that way Sutton acting crazy looks normal. Yes. Got it. And and the fit, the fans were like, oh my what a gosh. Freak. Oh my God, why did you have But then some were kinder um, yeah and yeah Ooh, Lord. they're like why would she match Ooh, exactly. her with that man no, no, no. I'm like, i see through editing because i can, watch you know, so much you know. and i hear you so know. much and i know production i know how edits go i know you guys had our interviews for to cut down the two minutes i know all this so like i left that feeling bad for that man not oh, sutton i man. knew it was the edit and i could tell he was really really sweet and that she was kind of kind of being a little bit of a dick to him and it's just hard because it's a first date so i feel like first dates that that's so hard difficult. that's They're so hard difficult fuck, that's hard so <laughs> i was like Christ. damn I, I was on the man yeah. side i'm never on the man side i'm yeah. never but i was mm. like you're being too harsh on this man this mm. poor man don't worry i will take care of him like, yeah. I, have I, been, I have been but not sutton has come so long like i'm actually yeah. so proud of her so i love proud. sutton by the way like love hello sutton. i'm a southern girl myself i'm from alabama so like i love sutton i love sutton garcelle's my favorite but i love sutton yeah, Sutton's so, amazing. I'm really she's proud of her. Amazing. And mm-hmm. she's so kind. And she's very, I like, yeah, that second date. Then we had the second date oh, with. Um, much with, better. Well, oh, my gosh. Why? Am, how he was am I, very, very handsome. Too. Oh, my so goodness. So hot. Steve. 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 Oh, my goodness. He was so, so hot. Him. Yes. Steve is a sweet heart, hottie, mm-hmm. like definitely. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. he is also one of those guys. And I always say to any like single people that are watching and also Manny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, but men who are great at dating are typically not great at relationships. Oh, oh my God. My God. Yes. I didn't know that. You guys yes. are getting the tea. We're in the fucking We're tea. The fucking I'm tea. also yeah. getting the tea. This is a tea. Yeah. So great dates are bad like so relationships. Men who are great at dating uh-huh. have a different skill set than it takes to be in a relationship. Committed this long haul. Absolutely. Mm. So if a man is like, you know, just knows what to say on the dates, is like Ooh. super charismatic and this, that, the other, typically I think it's not a red flag because you can obviously, you know, those people need love as well. Of like course. charismatic men need love too. But, but, but you see it. I see it. I'm very charismatic. Yeah. I'm scared. But it's okay. What but, if it's me? But no, no, no. But you also, can always work on it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But th- but I think that if you are, yeah, I mean, we can. If, it, it, everyone's different. Totally. However, it mm-hmm. is something just to so keep true. in mind and to give people grace because For sure. on like so bad true. dates and whatnot. So Hundred percent. If mm-hmm. she, if if oh. any any but anyone, if you go on a first date and the it's not like electricity, you don't want to jump on them. There could still be potential in there. Yes, as long as you're not repulsed okay, by the okay. person, mm-hmm. and as long as they don't say you know really inappropriate things. Of or course. I mean, and with us, it's a bit <laughs> easier. <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> right. <laughs> like, but give them a second date. Like if they, as long as you're not repulsed and they haven't you know done something completely out of the realm i'm i'm a big believer that if they have the fundamentals they want to get married like if you want to get married they want to get married mm-hmm. they, they want to have kids you want to have kids they want to totally. have kids mm-hmm. religion compatibility it doesn't have That's to be the major same major compatibility mm-hmm. major. major and so if somebody is like a devout you know muslim yeah then you know and you're you know spiritual and or like open. or like an atheist <laughs> yeah and a christian gonna be like, and you're like Ooh. yeah it's not totally. going to work. So, yeah. but if those align, background check is good. You know, they have a good career. Mm-hmm. Give them a second date because I love yeah. that information. I love that too. That's like so valuable because like sparks may not fly on that first date, but that's actually so valuable to know. This could be a relationship person, and he just doesn't know all the sweet things to hook you in, honey. But he's being real. Mm-hmm. That is such a valuable thing to say. Do you feel like I have a random question? Like, do you think that it's harder to match like men or women? Like, what would would you say? Like, as a matchmaker like is it harder to find yeah. women for men thank you oh. thank you That's, that wasn't even on the paper yeah. uh yeah. <laughs> it's not even on the paper i just go with that myself um <laughs> do you feel like it's which which one do you think would be harder to find matches for oh, well um or you're like <laughs> yes yes um <laughs> she's like both definitely uh, yeah i mean you know i i will say 
women are a lot tougher to work with mm. okay. being their matchmaker. Okay. Got it. They're a lot more difficult. I take um, no offense to that. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm married, but like, that's not offensive to me as yeah, a woman. Totally. That's like, maybe they're more picky. Maybe they have more things, you know, you know, that can go in a lot of different mm-hmm. ways too. Like hundred percent. Yeah. hundred percent. So I think with men, it is a bit easier. I will just say it mm. is a bit easier. And also there are so many incredible women. <laughs> So oh, yeah, you're it's right. Just, there's so many amazing women. Mm. And it's not that there aren't amazing men. There are. <laughs> Listen, but... I, I, and I don't take offense to that either. <laughs> Hey, let me tell you something. I'm not hey, offended because hey, you ate that, that up. Because you ate that. that the fuck up. I believe that. Just plus. She said the wonderful men are not plentiful. Yes, they're no. there. It's just for every 10 interviews, say, that we do, maybe three are eligible and really great mm. for men. For men. For every wow. 10 for women, like seven are like exceptional. Wow. So it's, yeah, like um, it's. It, it's interesting. Women are just better. Yeah. Women are just, just far superior. I said it. Well, that makes sense <laughs> I said to it. me. See, that that adds up. That makes, makes a, a lot, lot of, sense of sense to me, me as well. Yeah. That makes yeah. a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. There are a lot of daily skincare products on the market claiming to help reduce fine lines, wrinkles, but how do you know the products are actually working? Ritual is here for your skincare routine. They created a wrinkle support skin supplement and conducted a clinical study to take the guesswork out of skincare. You guys, the cool thing about it, what I love about Ritual is that it's so easy to fit into your routine. You know, there's daily protein and symbiotic, gut health, etc. It's so easy to incorporate and what you're already doing. It's basically kind of like adding another step to your skincare routine, but it's actually about your like internal skincare routine, which is absolutely amazing. Hyacera led to a three 3- 0.6 time reduction in crow's feet wrinkles within 90 days compared to a placebo, which is absolutely insane. Start Hyacera to help minimize wrinkles without compromising on clean science. Hyacera from Ritual is clinically proven skin supplement you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month for a limited time at ritual.com slash full Start Ritual or add Hyacera to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash full for 25% off. This episode of Full Coverage is sponsored by Smalls. You guys, Smalls cat food is protein-packed recipes made with preservative-free ingredients you'd find in your fridge, and it's delivered right to your door. So make it your New Year's resolution to get your cats eating healthier this year with Smalls. I love Smalls. As you know, I feed all of my cats Smalls every single morning. They are obsessed with it, and we had a hard time switching them over to a healthier cat food because they're very picky animals, Mm -hmm. but they love Smalls. Actually, did you guys know that after switching over to Smalls, 90% of cat owners reported that overall they had overall health improvements with their cats. That's a really big deal. That's insane. The mm-hmm. fact that 90% reported that is crazy. crazy. The team at Smalls is so confident that your cat will love their product that you can try it risk free. That means they'll refund you if your cat will not eat their food. It's 2024. Are you still feeding your cat kibble? Head to smalls.com slash full and use promo code full at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use our code FULL for 50% off your first order. One last time, that's promo code FULL for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. I feel like, so like, you know how like in this day and age, like there's like online dating, online dating is like a huge thing, like using apps and things like that. Would you like say that they are practical and it's something good? Or like, how would you want to meet people in like re- the real world like how if you had like let's say someone that was watching and they're like dude how would, would i go about meeting people myself like if i wanted to like go out there what would you say is like a good like tip or trick to like meet people or would you say that meeting them online is good yeah so i am a big believer in diversifying your dating portfolio mm. i don't think there's any good way or bad way of meeting somebody i think there are just a variety of ways and mm-hmm. it's important to not if you're using the apps to not only use the dating apps mm-hmm. and only mm-hmm. depend fully on using the dating apps because right. then your in-person social skills are going to be shot really shot and you that see that sense. you see that happening in all the society. time the more i feel like every year so it actually gets sense. worse every year you should worse. see the kids oh the kids oh the, the, kids. the kids oh my god you guys, are you okay? Uh, no, kids. no. You guys are the okay? kids are not okay. Even my niece was like, I mean, she's like she, 18, 19, 20 with her dating, dealing with her. And she's like, every time I would talk to a guy, they talked to me so much on social media. You meet one person, they wouldn't speak one word. They're scared to death, like wanting to so speak. Scared. 
They're the internet. The internet. They fucked up, They hid the behind the internet for so long, mm-hmm. so they don't have that interaction skill. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very challenging. Um, I will say something really bizarre has happened in the last couple months. With AI, there's been this mass exodus from dating apps. Um, what? Yeah, yeah. This is, so everyone in the matchmaking industry is like rumbling about it because we're all, we've been busy for a, a long time, but mm-hmm. a lot of we we're even busier and mm. um and a lot of companies matchmakers are even busier because ai there are so many bots on mm. the dating apps wasting people's time yes Stop. so men are getting scammed <gasps> oh women God. are getting scammed so many people from these from these bots so mm. a lot of people like bumble God. i think sorry bumble like that you're a wonderful company wonderful company i'm not Love saying but bumble. i mean this is I gonna happen you. throughout like, this yeah is, yeah they just let go of a ton of employees it oh. was like yeah look at it, they, yeah so something is happening where the apps need to make a change they need to verify this is something to be aware of absolutely a photo verification yeah. like they need to do something yeah. an id mm-hmm. verification yeah something something more some apps do I will yeah. say, like Hinge does. Yeah, they do a photo they verification, you a little, like, but you can, but you can fake that. You can fake that too. There's a lot of easy fakes. So I mean, it's it, so I think it's interesting. I will say, so diversify, diversify your dating portfolio. So I think that for people in, if like kind of back to what we were talking about, if you are in one industry. It's important to seek out events in other industries. Mm. So if you are like with you, Manny, you're constantly at beauty, Mm -hmm. fashion, Mm -hmm. all of like these are very specific industries. Mm -hmm. But there are there are like even um, uh, uh, like real estate mastermind or like Mm. a charity gala that has it's like a cause that's completely random but it can but obviously it's you know it's a good cause and you know you want to no, of course know, it's like but, but like not in your exact wheelhouse not in your wheelhouse mm-hmm. so seek out different events and places um also you know you can really meet this is going to sound so cheesy but you can meet people anywhere you go mm-hmm. but a lot of society right now is is everything is delivered yeah and i mm. know with uh, especially the the kind of the more um the more accomplished a client becomes the more isolated they become it's so <laughs> yeah so yeah. i'm like yeah so oh. everything is delivered oh. everything's delivered. i'm like this to me like this yeah yeah because <laughs> that's me yeah. Like it that, really I'm is I'm married, me. but that's me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the more success, the less I have to leave my house. And the more and independent I, I will am. leave my house. Exactly. And the more independent I am yeah. too. But that's missing out every time you mm-hmm. Uber eat something Ooh. or which, uh, I believe me, I'm just every day. With, exactly. So every true. day or every time you do Instacart or every time you do Amazon Fresh where you're not going to the grocery store, where you're not going to the coffee shop, where you're having somebody else run and grab something for you, even like shopping, you know, you're, but you're missing out on potential potentially connect to interaction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're missing people out time. Mm-hmm. people time. Mm-hmm. And so it's so important because a lot of times people think like, Oh, the one place I should go are bars, but mm-hmm. that's not mm-hmm. a lot of times mm-hmm. at bars. You get mm-hmm. a certain, you know, it's like a hookup. It's a vibe. Yeah. It's a different vibe. It's a for vibe. Sure. It's a vibe. But even, I mean, like golfing is wonderful. There are a lot of like fabulous gay men that golf. Like you would really, do. yeah. I, I'm yeah. like, really? No, I know. There, there actually are. are. My Tyler, don't look at me. Golf- don't look at me, Tyler. <laughs> Ty has a gay crew. He's like, Ty has a gay crew. Ty has a crew of golfers and some of his golf friends are gay guys. It's it, true. And with all the straight guys. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Some of his best friends are out there. 100% golfing is, I just got oh. into golfing and I have, yeah, <gasps> yeah. I'm like Look really into you. golfing. Oh my God. Right How cute. Like, just like little golfing, golfing girly. You know? <laughs> Don't mind golfing me. Golfing girly pop. I love it. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, but that's what so I was about the diversifying Diversify. your dating portfolio and, and also FaceTime experiences. FaceTiming experiences and also that not being sense. afraid to like, this is going to sound really basic, but like making eye contact with people mm. and just smiling, mm-hmm. like, and just like, you know, smiling. Oh, hey. How's it Do going? you know that that's Shayla and Les, our friends, they're married now, I'm very happy, but they mm. met because he made eye contact with her and she looked at him and said, What are you going to say something? They're married. Oh my goodness. They were downtown walking past each other around LA Live and he made eye contact with her and they're married now because of that. I love because that. Because the eye contact. I love That's so crazy. true. Isn't that crazy? Because we're on our phones. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's it's when you make eye contact with somebody, it's a diff it's kind of like oh like it, it like oh yeah. like 
You're looking at me? Yeah, like, what are you doing? And yeah. even if you just have, having that natural, even if you're make eye contact with everybody, if you can, of course. like mm-hmm. what I try to it, it, like tell, you know, the men and women I work with, just do it naturally in your daily yeah. life. Even if yeah. with anybody, like with a nice girl, with a girl, yeah. with a guy, mm-hmm. like it doesn't matter. So that when Confidence it is somebody, too. yeah, when somebody comes in, you're, you know, you're in the same elevator at the hotel that you're at and you know, you're, oh, what floor are you on? Oh, great. And so just, it's like, dro- it's also called dropping the handkerchief. It's like a whole thing. Mm-hmm. But Ooh. it's but I found that like, you don't even have to do the full dropping your handkerchief. I think like totally. nowadays it sounds crazy but a little eye contact a smile and goes a long way goes a long way yeah 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 <sighs> okay so crazy. you set people up on blind days where you match people how much do they get to see and know about the person before they go on the day they see in pictures do they get a portfolio like, do they they get get a, a, what do they get what do they get <laughs> well <laughs> um so it is i will say it is very dependent on the level of membership that somebody oh, has yeah, yeah. with us totally. okay. and also some people are self sabotagers mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. there are some clients mm. that they we will just be like you're meeting Jessica. Okay. And I see. you're going to love Jessica you and you get a small dater bio okay. um, before they go on the date. And a lot of our clients, honestly, that's they get a small dater bio the night before they go. Do they see any pictures or is it truly blind? Some of them see photos, okay. but okay. a lot of our clients don't because wow. a lot of our clients don't. They Also, how do I say this in the loveliest way possible? <laughs> photos are the devil. So they're deceiving. so deceiving. deceiving. They're so deceiving. Mm-hmm. Like it's just, it, like our honestly, our job would be a whole lot easier if we just get a video yeah, three sixty like, of their face. Literally. Yeah, and then like a three sixty. Yeah. You know, I just told my makeup artist because I recently hired a new one. I told her, I said, whenever I'm looking for a new makeup artist, I don't trust any photos of their Literally work none. that they put online. None. Baby, do you know how many times I've been fooled with these glam looks when it's all edited? edited. Face out. Face out. Face out. Hello. Face out. And I'm like, no, no, no. You have to show me videos of your work with the flash. I want to see mm-hmm. what you've done to your model with a video. Yeah. And then I'll hire you because mm-hmm. I have have been fooled 100 percent down full down 100 i'm getting the yeah. picture thing it's like the lo- what do you yeah. think of love is blind you're a matchmaker oh give me something to live oh my gosh you guys she's like i hate that live. shit <laughs> <laughs> no. oh my God, you guys. i hate that show so much. <laughs> You're like they should be. They should be doing matchmaking. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting oh, on your show. Shit. Oh my god. I want you to go. I want oh, you no. to do a full patty. Be like, get the fuck out of my. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Can you imagine? Yes. You need to leave. You need to leave. You're all ugly. Leave. You are all. Oh my word. No, love is blind. You guys obsessed. Like it. This. Insane. I live for it. Insane? This season was oh. crazy. Oh. Crazy. Woo. Chelsea, Jimmy. Chelsea. <laughs> Jimmy? No. Sarah Ann? Sarah Ann? Sarah Ann? Jeremy? It's crazy. Queen? No, Her, literally, uh, it's AD? crazy. AD? AD. Clay? Okay, literally, Queen. Clay. Oh, Clay. AD is literally oh, my no. queen. AD is a, a gem. An actual yeah. gem. Like, I'm obsessed with AD. I would Very love to match I know you would. She's oh, emotionally she intelligent. Slit. Yes. This AD, thing is me. running full time. Yeah. Call her. AD. She's a smart Dead girl. Ass. Call, call me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but she's a she's a gem. Oh, she is. I love that. I love the concept. I will say I do think that physical attraction is really important. Like 100%. otherwise you end up with um what's her name with the guy with the Megan uh, Fox? Um oh. oh well. The season before? What but, was it, what about the season before? What's her name? She had like really glam at the reunion. I don't remember. She didn't like the guy. Kwame. No. No, she was like Oh, Irina. she was mean to the guy. Oh, Irina. Irina. I love Irina. Yeah. Like, it's Personally, like that. I love Irina. We follow <laughs> each other on Instagram. So <laughs> like, <laughs> but you know, like, you see, as soon as like, she was her. like, Because mm. she wasn't attracted to him, so she, like, you bullied him. Mm-hmm. She was just like, oh, yeah. please, she was like, please, my girl, with me, please, please. And <laughs> yes. he just kept being so nice. <laughs> you know? and I no, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, so I, I think, I think it is really important. It's, it's, but it's like a, it's like a pizza pie. So it's mm-hmm. a piece of the pie and that has to be there. Mm-hmm. But these other elements, are so beautiful and I think mm. though mm-hmm. I will say I have a lot of hope in society mm. just based on all of the men and women that I work with every day because I know I know that they genuinely want connection mm-hmm. so I'm mm-hmm. not complete I don't think that you know I don't think we're all destroyed I think there's a lot of hope 
people want connection mm-hmm. and they want genuine people. And I like that I about that. this generation. Yeah. They embrace fully their mm-hmm. authenticity because I think because of the whole social media with mm-hmm. everything being so fake, like even makeup artists, mm-hmm. I had the same situation. Girl, they'll oh, get you. My, they'll get you. This woman, oh my God, I can't even. I mean, I've had so many makeup. No, I've had a lot of trauma it's makeup, trauma. Trauma. It's trauma. makeup trauma which hopefully it's we're fine no today, you're great but you never know you never know yeah. you, you don't I, not, I don't you. trust anyone with my glam i chose two people maybe it's so hard it like, is and you guys it at is. least are like this is what like thank god we know do. how to yeah. do it so, yeah i don't imagine. know how to do it i don't know how to do it <laughs> she's like what this girl fucking me like what do i do and then you hire these people and then one oh she's busy but then this other one and then she botches everything yep. and then yes you're like, oh. then you're yep. like what do i even do mm-hmm. yeah i've been, but but i think yeah i think that people are craving authentic connection yeah and that's why love is blind does work and a lot of cases, because a lot of couples that we saw at the reunion that were still together. Oh, that is true. Because they craved the connection. It, like, worked. Yeah. And like it made they, more yeah, sense. And it was sure. even more than the yeah. looks for them. Like, they wanted a connection more than the looks. I think has to be there initially. Like, there, ha- I feel like it, it feel plays too. into a little bit of the spark, a little bit of the, you know. The connection. Yeah. connection, yeah. the physical mm-hmm. does. And then it fizzles out. You know what I mean? Because you get to know people when you love them regardless of what they look like. You know, 100%. Vinny, would you ever go on Love is Blind? Like, I feel like they should do a, a, a Love is Blind 100% version 100%. and or Love is Blind, um, like, influencer or celebrity <sighs> edition. Yeah. Like, oh, they do, so like, the dancing. Good. It's like, you know, it's not like Brad Pitt in there, but it's like. Yeah. You know, some celebs. I feel like yeah. you could, they should do a gay edition for That'd sure. That'd be sickening. I mean, I, I will say I do feel like Love is not blind for me. Like, I'm not going to even lie. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I feel like look to me like looks do matter like yeah. I work out like I work hard for like what I have and like things I do like I take care of myself so I think I would be like a little shocked and taken aback if I matched with someone that didn't take care of myself. show me your face if someone came out and they were hit no Laura I'm like this ready give it to me <laughs> That's when I know we're in trouble. And if I start giggling, I know we're in trouble because I'm an oh, uncomfortable no. giggler. Oh my god, me too. Like I, oh honestly, gosh. anytime I start to giggle, like I'm giggling because I'm so uncomfortable and I can't control it. No. Uh, I literally we almost got murdered once and I was giggling. He so like was. it's not. And good. I had to be like Stop laughing. And I'm like, no, no, no. Wait, I'm shocked. No, literally me. That's beautiful. <laughs> You think crazy things that we do. She's like, you remember, like, Laura being, right being gay. Laura being gay. She's like, that was beautiful. That's so beautiful. I moved. I moved. Wait, that is no. I do. So funny. I will say, like, I don't think for me, love is blind. I'm so sorry. But, but you would go on the show and try. I would. Yeah. Ju- I would and do it for the experience. Fascinating because it's literally your career is the antithesis of love being blind. Literally. Like, it's literally, literally. The, uh, the, I'm like exact. I work in a opposite. beauty yes. community. Yes, dedicated to <laughs> beauty. Beauty inside and out, though. Inside no, 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 inside and out. But like, yeah, yes, I, it, yes, yes. You know, yes. it would yes. be a sh- it would be a shock to, if I turned around and he was hit. Yeah, it would really shock me to my core. <laughs> Oh, no. You guys, I literally, oh, no. I don't know what I would do. It She's actually like, <laughs> hit to Can't their core. Hit to the core. Yeah, no, okay. I literally would be devastated. <sighs> but, the yeah. is that, but the thing is, like, even me, like, I just know that about myself. So I tend to not put myself in situations yeah. like With that ugly people. No. <laughs> <laughs> with hit ass bitches. No, no, no. Just in general with, I like, just... that kind of show. I would be like, I don't know if it would work for me. <laughs> I would love to see you on a show like that. <laughs> Laura, oh wants, Laura wants to see that I would end it with ugly money. and then she would die. Oh my goodness. It would actually be really funny and it would actually be great for TV, but like. It would be really good for TV. It, it would be good for TV. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just don't know yeah. if it would really work for Diva. me. Diva. No, I know. I love it. Like, oh, like, do, would you have like, let's like, let's say for me, for someone who's been single. I can tell people are cute through their voice though. Mm. I thought Jimmy's voice was hot. Exactly. I did it. I was oh, like, Jimmy? Oh, I thought Jimmy's voice either. was hot. I did. I didn't get it. I thought he had a hot voice. Yeah. so sexy. I was I like, liked it. So no, I would have been, no, I would have no, been no. stupid, you guys. Like, I would have been like, I got Jimmy and he looks like a thumb. Jimmy. Jimmy. Did you just say he looks like a thumb? <laughs> Poor Jimmy. Poor Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, I'm so sorry. You know what, Jimmy? Like, I feel like I started to like him towards the end, but in the no. beginning, like, no, I completely. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, not Thumbelina. 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 Oh like, in the goodness. beginning, it wasn't good, but... Yeah. <clears throat> you know? Oh, Jerry. Like, I thought he had a hot voice, though. So I think I would be tricked. Crazy. Because I'd yeah, be tricked. Yeah. I'd, fish, I'd fish Jimmy So who would you yeah, think you in would. there? Like, what you voice would. did you like the best? I don't know. I'd have to go Jeremy's. back and listen. No, 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 Oh, my gosh. No. Jeremy. Uh, 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 death. No, to Jeremy all of them. is a horrifying human being. Horrifying. 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 Like, that you can't is even a find narcissist him. monster. How did he get on the show? I, that's who I. How who did he is, who psychologically is, no, pass the test? So, okay. The psych test. How did he pass? I did, I did two seasons of MTV's Are You the One? Mm -hmm. I was a matchmaker for casting. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, you guys, the fact that that man got past psych it's crazy i because we had uh, when we were casting are you the one we would i had this huge binder mm. of like oh my gosh so many people and then we had to make the perfect matches blah 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 whatever the, i made a number of matches but these people were literally like they were like i'm sorry they didn't pass psych so we need somebody else they were a lot less obviously narcissistic <laughs> yeah than Jeremy. Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Jeremy. So like, who and you need is psych doing... to pass. Like you need to, I when I did surreal nice. life, I had to go through it. psych eval. Yeah. So I, had was, psych, was... I did a surreal life. Like oh I did the show gosh, Surreal Life. Did, yes, you did the surreal life. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I did the surreal life. <gasps> and I had to do a oh, psyche eval. Fa that's fascinating. So it's like who is so doing like, like, the psyche eval? Yeah. Who's doing the psyche? I was like, who what psych is doing the psyche eval? Also, how did Clay get through it when he's not even wanting to get married? Mama. I you like, guys. I don't hate Clay. Like, Clay is not Jeremy. You know what I, I mean? Know. But that was so upsetting, though. Like, that whole situation. I was devastated. Devastated. Like, I think we all just were like, I was what? broken for 80 because I loved her so much. I was kind of glad he said no because she I feel like she could do better. Yeah. And I feel like and that was going to end up. Yeah. Something fishy was going on. I was like, he and saved I don't want to get sued, but hurt. something fishy mm -hmm. was going on. Mm -hmm. Well, also him being like, you know, I just don't want to cheat. Yeah, I was and like, then, why like, do you keep talking about you cheating? Out, staying out, girl. That's literally what I was like, you wouldn't want to come home. You wouldn't want to So like, it just didn't make sense. I was like, someone say no here, someone to save someone. Ad's life. Mm -hmm. One of you guys it actually say saved no. her. It did. It saved, saved her. her. He did her a it big favor. A man's rejection, God's mm -hmm. protection, always. Always. A words to live by. And that words is to words live by. by. I actually really like that. God's protection. The next time they block you. Yeah, hundred percent. Next time I block them. Oh no! <laughs> Man, are you yeah. toxic? No, no. Are you so toxic? <laughs> you tell her right now. No, you're giving. Thing, you're giving kidding. toxic. Kidding. You're giving toxic. <laughs> you're like, actually, now that I'm getting to know you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, I will say, like, I am a little picky, like, yeah. as I've gotten older, like, mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. because I am very hyper independent as a human being, I enjoy my life, right? I love what I have. I love the friends I have, I love my family. I love everything about it. So, like, if I wanted, if I wanted to date someone, like, I would want them to be someone that really adds to me. And, like, yes. I want them in my life. And I want to make time for them. Yeah. So, if I don't feel like it's worth making time a great life, I don't want to do it. If they're not a great yeah. addition to If they're not life. a great addition or, like, someone that brings me up and like or like is on the same level as me like i just am kind of like well i'm already so good yeah that i tend to not really You'd rather be single than i'd rather be single than date someone that just to, I, for the idea of dating because mm -hmm. i was like oh i have to date someone like it's just i'm single so i have to date someone like i don't mm -hmm. feel that need to date because i feel content in a way 100 percent. you know yeah 100 percent. i think uh, yeah and a lot of that that's lovely um but yeah it also shows that you're not meeting people who are inspiring you yeah 100%. and because you need to be with somebody that is going to help you be excite the best version you. of yourself for sure excite you exactly like inspire with whatever mm -hmm. they're doing mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. so that they're exactly bringing added value mm -hmm. into your mm -hmm. life and no just... one i've seen recently has excited me <laughs> but yeah. you're in the same circle and i love what she was saying mm -hmm. like she was like you need someone out of your circle yeah, yeah. like real estate yeah really yeah. Business Exciting. oriented people, yeah. successful people, yeah. they have their own lives, they have a lot going on. Excite. I mean, that just checks all the boxes, yeah. but they're completely out of your industry. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally different. Mm -hmm. I think you need to just completely 180. 180? Mm -hmm. Not 360. Yeah, 180. 180. 180. I think we everyone 180 says 360. You. Yeah. But it's a really, you said it's it right. A, uh, it's, it's 180. Yeah, it's 180. It's like it's not the other yes. side yeah. of the yeah. thing. Side. Yeah, we mm -hmm. need a total. It's true. Total. I feel like I if yeah. I'm I feel like if I'm not inspired or I'm not like like guys I've seen like recently in the last few years, it's like all guys are like getting their shit together. Ugh. None of them have their shit together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And it's like, mm -hmm. but I have my shit together. And so I feel like I am constantly like, 
uh, you're not trying to go uh, through the roller coaster of life with them. You're, you're I'm like, you're, girl, we, you're, we've are. I'm already here. Like, mm-hmm, I've yeah. already gone through like the fucking trials and tribulations in my twenties. Career I'm, 30, I'm about to be thirty three. Yeah. yeah, you know, so it's kind of like, you know, I want them to be on my level. Yeah, yeah, Mm -hmm. definitely. And also, I think that there is, you know, there are men that are, they bring a lot to the table, even in terms of like, service wise Mm -hmm. that but they're just they're helpful they want they they want to give to you Mm -hmm. and they because there are a lot of receivers out there and Mm -hmm. i think that a lot of society is breeding a lot of just it doesn't matter what if you're gay straight whatever it Mm is but it's breeding a lot of people that just want to receive but i think that like finding a man with a giving spirit and that has a purpose that has a vision Mm -hmm. that is doing that is aligned and that is doing something to hit that it's so important. It's I, I listen, I don't envy I don't envy you dating. However, I I have a lot of hope for you. And I think Aww. if you just if you just shift gears a little bit, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and totally. expecting different results. Yep, yep, yep. Exactly. So we want to just completely adjust, do like have a few things every month that are completely out of out of the norm right they're out of the norm for you Mm -hmm. you have to do something totally out of the norm say yes to a baseball you know you're doing a baseball thing Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. but just something completely out of the norm and i think that that's where you're going to find success Mm -hmm. but i don't think i think that just the same it's not something's not working yeah totally yeah yeah Yeah. i agree i i I literally this is great advice because i'm sure we have a ton of viewers who mm -hmm. has the exact same problem and hearing Mm -hmm. that like switching it up saying yes to something you've never done getting out of your comfort zone Mm -hmm. can lead you to new people because doing the same thing going in the same circle revolving door it's a revolving door yeah Yeah, i agree completely what were you saying no and i I feel like um for me like drive is really important and like even if they're not Mm -hmm. at a place in their life that they want to be yeah if someone is driven i'm inspired by like by someone being driven Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. i'm not even like saying like i need someone to be rich or like super successful like a media is like i want someone that is amazing like a caretaker in that way too but like someone that has goals and ambition and drive mm-hmm. that is mm-hmm. great to me yeah you know because I, I could work i could work with ambition like i have ambition yes. too you know what i mean like yeah i might have like been I'm, I'm successful in my world but that doesn't mean that everyone's journey isn't like a different timeline so i love people that are like i'm gonna make this happen for myself eventually 100 percent. you know you like that's great somebody with fire yes yeah. i'm a fire sign yes i need that are like you, oh, like aries i'm an aries oh my that was obvious. That was very how, obvious. How I'm could I Aries. not guess Aries? Mm-hmm. Come on. I'm an oh, Aries. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. Fire sign. Oh, no. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. You guys, I have, I know, I say the same thing. <laughs> no, I literally I'm love it. Like, oh my God, it. that's beautiful. It would be beautiful. Oh, but it's okay. I love it. I feel like we I have to go it. to like, an event with you or something and then yes. I'm going to report back and yeah. like do a little, yes. a little something. That'd be really fun. Yes. yes. That'd be really, really, really fun. Yeah. And I feel like even if you did something, in um i feel like east coast also i'm getting like an east coast mm-hmm, mm-hmm. male energy mm-hmm. like that i would want in your life mm-hmm. so i feel like maybe new york city event mm-hmm. maybe okay or, like go there for like yeah. an event or something yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah i'm going to a ball there so if you oh. want you can attend but i don't know that we'll find your man <laughs> <laughs> i don't like a ball necessarily <laughs> it's in the plaza i'm so excited I'm so well it's gonna be <laughs> sickening i know it's gonna be fabulous. but like yeah but, I don't know but if it's maybe my... i don't know if it's your husband but Okay, okay. I my 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 wheels are turning. That's okay, I love good. that. I love That's that. Good. Yes. Well, I'm very excited about that. Yes. Oh my god, this has been so much fun. Well, this has been extremely insightful. <laughs> I've literally been married for 15 or been with my man for 15 years and I am literally like, like But I also feel no, like I'm eating, I'm like this literally eating, eating it, it up. up i feel like you do therapy so as good. well because it goes outside of dating like mm-hmm. trying something new like getting out of your wheelhouse and all that it's like just such good advice for people in general absolutely yeah where would like people find you like to yeah please where can plug, we find like, you please plug give you. us all the like sure. do you have any fun projects coming up that you want to like shout out like Oh this is goodness. your fucking moment. Dude. No, absolutely. I think the best way is follow me at matchmaker Alessandra Conti. I know it's really long. <laughs> I know it's we'll really long. We'll, we're gonna yeah, link it regardless. We're gonna, we're gonna link, link it. it. Matchmaker Alessandra Conti. So I'm very I love Instagram. It's like mm-hmm. I don't really do any of the other. I don't do TikTok. I don't well, right. you don't have to worry about that. That's it might good. Be gone. Good. It might be gone. Bye, TikTok. Yeah. Um, so yes, Instagram is the best place. And then um to work with our matchmakers, go to matchmakers in the city 
Kelsey.com, but it's also linked on my Instagram. So I think my Instagram Amazing. is kind of be all end all. The best place. Project wise, there is, I wish I could share. Uh, you know how it is. I'm I, we sorry. do. We know all too well. I, ugh, all too well. And She's it may or may not happen. She's, She's like, like yeah, it can't. may or may not happen, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it's so funny when you sign because I even had, I had a client pass away. Oh my God. And I still can't share. And I know. That they passed away? That, I mean, I can't share that he was my client. Oh, okay. Oh, I was like, my oh my God. God. I know. I had a client pass away. And <sighs> I, he, I mean, I like, there's so much that I could say. Mm-hmm. I can't. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So I am a vault. Like, that's that amazing. Is, that's how you have to be, like, vault. in your industry. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, you wow. know. If you want to, like, if you, <laughs> you, you want to keep, like, end the having clients. Like, <laughs> dying clients. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> You're like, <gasps> <gasps> the people are going. <laughs> Everyone's like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Literally a freaking mic drop. That and Jimmy as a thumb are, I think, like my. <laughs> now you'll never unsee that. You'll never unsee it. Once you hear Thumb and Lena, you'll never it's like unsee from it. Kids. You know the thumb people. I do. Th- I do. Oh my I, I see what so you see. Shocked. You saw it. You saw it. I do. Mm. So good. Well, thank you <laughs> literally so much for taking time out of your day and coming here. We appreciate you so much. This was such a fantastic so episode. Much fun. Like, truly. Yeah, you have the best it was energy. Amazing, amazing energy. 100%. Like I'm a, it's like I feel like it's not often you gotta find people that like match our energy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's nice. It was <laughs> really lovely. It was lovely. It flows so good. I'm like <laughs> Oh my! So you guys, thank you so thank much for coming. You. We really I, appreciate you're it. You're so sweet. I'm ha- so happy to be here. <laughs> okay, and I'll, we'll 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 be on it, Manny. We'll find you. Yes. Yeah. We'll see you guys. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, we'll catch you guys in our next episode. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Guys. Bye.